Hello everyone. Today's video is about surface projection and how we can use this tool to create more complex objects. So our modeling approach is to start with the sketch, revolve it, create a separate surface, project the surface to the first revolved body and fuse the two bodies. So I'm going to create a new uh, model. So first I'm going to go to um, we will start with the sketch as usual and then create the sketch i'm going to create a like a, um, a solid first and then pick a surface on that solid so let's do this and uh, let's create a quick uh, uh, sketch and then rotate it so i'm going to you know, I'm going to make it a little bit uh, complicated by you know, drawing it in an angle. So let's. So these two lines are parallel, uh, but I can make these two parallel also with parallel constraint. So now we make it kind of parallel. Then uh, these I don't have to. Uh, I mean these two are equal, and so I don't have to apply that constraint. But yeah, just keep that in mind. So I'm going to add a dimension. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with that. I'm not going to bother too much about it. And maybe I'm going to, you know, I'm going to make it a little bit thinner. So yeah, that uh, yeah, yeah, that that should be fine. So we have to give another uh, horizontal dimension. Um, you know, I'm not going to, you know, bother too much about this dimension. I'm going to need something approximate here, okay? Uh, because this is just a demonstration. So I'm going to fully constrain this. So uh, need a few more constraint, and we'll be done with that. So yeah, I think we need one more constraint. I think it's an angular constraint can do the job for us. Uh, let's pick this. Yeah, so that's fully constrained. And now I'm going to rotate this. So first, in order to do that, you can't just rotate a sketch okay you have to put this sketch into a body so i'm going to create a body here i'm going to pick the same xy plane so now that sketch is in this body now you could pick on the sketch and go and uh, revolve it i don't need full 360 for this it's a demonstration purpose i'm going to only do 180 okay so we got yeah 180 degree part of the this uh, body so one thing to notice here is that you see this is a i mean it's not a simple flat plane as you can see it is has a curvature to it and then it has some slant along so it's it's a 3d feature okay so and the reason why i'm bringing this one up is I could have demonstrated this with a, like a simple plane um, and you know it would have been easy but then uh, you know uh, the the purpose of what I'm doing it will not be apparent to you uh, if I do it simple uh, a plane or a simple body so uh, so the next step is to create another sketch let's go and create another sketch and this time around, I'm going to uh, I'm going to offset it a little bit, okay? So uh, not that much. Uh, so let's do let's do four inches. You yeah, see, X Y plane. Now this um, plane is about four inches uh, forward of this body, okay? Uh, you won't be able to directly see it, but it is it is what it is. Okay, so now I'm going to draw something. Let's see what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to start with the B spline and pick on this guy, and let's do something here. Okay, I'm going to pick here too, uh, 
and uh, I'm going to end up on this line. I mean, if I'm not directly on the online, I can uh, collinear it and, and fix that. So now we got it. Uh, maybe if we just so you can actually you know, the B spline. The advantage is you can uh, move stuff around. I'm going to make it a little bit prettier. That's all I'm going to do here. So. Okay. Let's see if I can move this guy. Yeah, this guy yeah, moves nicely. So you have to pick on this center point and drag it down. Okay. So it's not that difficult. The only thing is it's not picking it up. Okay, maybe I move this guy a little bit yeah i'm trying to make it look a little bit prettier here i mean actually it doesn't matter for this this is just a simple example so it doesn't really matter but i made it a little bit prettier so now i'm going to try to constrain this guy so let's do this uh, start with this i'm going to give a height okay i'm going to go with that um, and then uh, maybe position it uh, with respect to the origin okay did that and I'm not going to I'm going to bother too much but I'm going to put some blocking constraint just to you know make it make life easier for me so that I'm going to as I said it, we don't need to really constrain it but I'm just you know, just the heck of it I'm just going to constrain it it's okay so we got that constrained now we have to create a surface so I'm going to do is pick on this I escape key to just get out of the constraint mode and then I'm going to pick this line and clone the, uh, copy this uh, I'm going to copy it uh, and uh, let's see clone and copy is slightly different so uh, copying is um, it, it, it is it's almost same but there's slight difference between the two uh, so just now I created that second you know copy it and offset it so that's what I did so now uh, I need a kind of a closed sketch so I'm going to pick these two should be fine and okay now I can spend time constraining this as well but this for, for time's sake i'm not going to do that it's not worth it i'm going to get out of here close this so we got a um, close sketch that's all we matter so i'm trying to uh, create a surface on this sketch so let's go to surface see where the surface yeah surface now um what i would do is this is the you can create a surface from uh two three or four boundary edges so i have two bound i mean actually i actually have four boundary edges but i think it's going to use only two so let's get this guy get this guy and the start picking so it's pick one edge and i will pick another edge so yeah it's done so there is a surface created so we can create that surface so now you know how to create a surface out of a sketch um, and so let's see what else we can do it and using this option so this is a pro it's basically a projector face to another face that's why the another object so uh, I can demonstrate that now what you can do here is um, first thing is yeah so you have to be exactly perpendicular or you know you have to be on the top view okay if it is a slanted it might not work so you have to be this surface has to be um, you know very much uh, parallel or it's, it's in perpendicular to the face okay now let's go to this and that's the, the projected surface now the projected surface is this okay 
now it asks you to add a face and this face is this guy okay now you can change this and you can you can see how this will be affecting okay uh, you can try it a couple of times i'm going to make it reduce it to five now and say okay and if i rotate you can see there is a uh, a projected object on this now this is not a body now you don't get confused that this, this is not a body okay this is a body but this is not okay so if you if you want to do that you have to drag, create a body and put this one into that okay otherwise it, it won't uh, you won't be able to do any more operations on that uh, on this face okay? it, it's kind of a uh, it's, it's a hollow uh, uh, object made out of a bunch of faces. That's what it is. So um, let's go and let's undo this. And let's go back here. And let's change the... Let's go back and redo that and with a different uh, thickness. Okay, go back here. Pick face. And just like we did pick this guy now I'm going to leave it 10 and see what happens see you can see that is thicker so that's how it, you control the thickness by that I mean that that's that's the way to do that okay now as I said earlier uh, let's do if, if you don't believe me that it is not a, a body and it, it won't uh, you know you can't do operation let's try to do uh, like a you know uh, maybe a, like a chamfer okay let's try to do okay i need to pick first uh, edge and try to okay so it says select an edge face or body from active body it because it, it won't be able to do the operation because it is not an active body so what you have to do here is pick on this and go in and put that into a body now uh, let's make this guy okay okay so now you can see there is a body now if i pick this guy and try to do a chamfer it works okay so that's the uh, difference between a body and just a feature uh, that you created so now what you can do is if you want to <laughs> Um, you know attach this guy to this body you can do that okay so let me pick this guy and get him out of the way so what i'm doing is just picking the sketch and backspace and it will toggle on and off the backspace key okay uh, not the backspace key the space bar okay so now there's one more thing you can do here is okay let's join this i want to merge this and create a one body so go back to part go to say union pick the first body from the first one and there's a second body here so go okay that and apply now you 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 have created a fusion so it's made of two bodies but this is not a uh, this is just an operation okay now uh, it's just like last time if you try to now if you try to go and chamfer it it won't work so i need to go back and go to part design and uh, it's you have to put this uh, the operation or, or put a, a body uh, and then now there is a one complete body okay change the color but it's a one complete body now if you want to do a you know maybe chamfer on this you can do that so you can do this okay so you see you can do that so that's the operation and if you want to do the chamfer on this edge the one thing that you will also notice here is on the surfer on the body that is attached to this surface or the, or the edge uh, that attached to this surface you have to pick the whole uh, 
entire uh, set of edges to do a chamfer. So I, if I try to do one edge at a time, let's see whether it works. Uh, I don't think it will work. Let's see. It just did something, and it, you know, it's something bug in the in uh, FreeCAD. I don't know what that is, but it just completely disappeared. So, what I would recommend is, uh, you know, if patiently pick all the uh, edges around it. Let's go and turn it around. Chamfering it work so uh, so that's the uh, you know that's the object we created I think hope you guys learned something uh, because this is quite useful uh, when you try to uh, you know uh, the uh, put a like a, a projector surface onto another surface and create a like an object out of it so. Well, the the cool part of this is if you look at it from the top you can see that it has you know its thickness is projecting from the surface is same right so that's the objective anyway that was the the reason why we created that way uh, and and uh, hopefully you learn something new so uh, you know leave a comment and if you find it useful, please subscribe. Thank you.